This is Sean Plew from Hitters.com. Today we're going to take a look at Jose Bautista. This is a guy who I studied in 2010 when he went from 13 home runs in 2009 to 53 home runs in 2010. He was able to change his swing mechanics and became the best home run hitter in baseball. Now he does a lot of things here and what I'm going to point out to you I want you to really pay attention to the barrel of the bat, the hands, and what's happening, the forces acting on the handle to make the barrel do what it does. And it's very hard to see if you haven't done this movement or felt what it's like. But I'm going to try to show you some other examples of other hitters. And hopefully you'll get a better idea of what changed and what he was able to do to become the best hitter in baseball. So everyone pointed to the fact that he added a leg kick. Yes, he added a leg kick, but that's not really what made the difference for him. To me, it was this position right here where he's able to tip the bat up. You see he's holding the barrel more forward than he was before. Earlier in his career, the bat would be kind of back at a 45-degree angle, and then he would try to push the barrel forward from there. And what he's done here is he's loaded his hands. He's brought the barrel up and this action back here where the barrel's going backwards and then around and into the baseball it creates kind of a corkscrew effect around the hands. Where the barrel's going backwards creates some momentum and then carries around and into the baseball. The swing is starting here. That first inch of barrel movement backwards is where the swing is happening and think about what the hands have to do to make that happen, to make the barrel go in this direction. This is the key to what Bautista did to become the best hitter in baseball. It's up here with the hands and the bat, letting the barrel of the bat spin around the hands and into the baseball. I'll show you some more examples here. This is a take, and we can learn a lot from the take, even though it's uh, a pitch out here. You'll see this on his other takes as well, where he's really getting the bat going. And you see the barrel kind of tips up. So he's, he's in his stance. The barrel's down. As the pitch comes, he, t he throws the barrel of the bat up and forward. This is a loading action of the hands that you'll see in all the great hitters, and I'll get to that in a moment. But from here to here, this is where bat speed is created. This is where you'll see the takes from all the great hitters start to look like this, where the barrel's coming backwards and down and then around and into the baseball. Here it is side by side. Notice how the barrel of the bat is in, a, is in different positions. On the right, it's a little bit higher, a little bit more tipped forward. I apologize for the quality, but you see how much deeper he's able to get with this barrel on the, on the right and how much longer his hands stay back. His hands stay hidden back here, whereas on the left, he's just kind of getting there and then pushing them forward. And you see like the body jump a little bit. This is exactly what a lot of amateur hitters I get do. They're pushing their hands and the bat into the ball instead of using momentum and giving himself a head start, create early bat speed, and then letting that continue around and into the baseball. And here he is. He made the adjustment, and he's feeling himself. Look at him. <laughs> he's jumping up like Sammy Sosa, and he's really gotten it. He's letting the hands really work, twist the barrel around the hands and into the baseball. And here on this pitch, he's fooled. He's way early with the leg kick and everything, maybe an off-speed pitch. But you see, with this type of swing, the hands are able to stay back. The bat speed is created back here, and you're able to adjust. You're able to adjust to off-speed and location and still hit baseballs hard. This was most likely a home run. And you see how fooled he is. Very rarely will you see him make contact like this. 
but still a great swing because the swing is happening back here. The adjustability, the pre-swing movements, this is what separates the elite hitters from not. And he's still able to, because he created early bat speed up here, just continue and adjust and let that bat speed run into the baseball out in front. Let's take a look at some other hitters who uh, have the same kind of characteristic. Here's Hank Aaron. And notice the take. Same kind of action with the barrel that you saw in Jose Bautista. This is what Jose incorporated into his swing. He, was, he learned how to use his hands. He learned how to create momentum with the bat. You see the exact same bat path here, even on a home run. Now this is Hank Aaron. So what happened was Jose Bautista was able to incorporate what Hank Aaron does. And Ted Williams, same thing with the hands. Tip the bat forward, spin the bat around the hands. Babe Ruth. Barry Bonds. Jimmy Fox. And Rogers Hornsby. What Bautista learned is a controlled, shortened version of this. Now, if you practice this, you'll probably get the feel that Jose Bautista had. And that's really the key to seeing what he was able to change in his swing. This has been Sean Plew from Hitterist.com. Catch you next time. One that's repping, oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping, oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I, been the coast's greatest blessing. Greatest blessing.